And a big welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm your host, Dave Erickson. So glad you're watching. Today I'm excited to share with you the 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 Z71. A great combination of durability and luxury wrapped in one. Let's get started. Last week I had the opportunity to sit behind the wheel of this incredible new Chevy Silverado. This workhorse has a number of updates for 2014. It now offers three all new engines, a stronger, quieter, and more comfortable cab, new interior with an incredible array of connectivity options and features, and revised steering, suspension, and brakes for improved ride and handling, just to name a few. I think it's safe to say there is something new for the everyman truck driver from hood to hitch. First of all, this is a Silverado with a new design that is more muscular, more functional, and more aerodynamic. A twin port grille, full width bumper and dual power dome hood create a strong presence, which is carried through in sculpted body sides and fender flares. But this new Silverado design is about more than just looks, however. The new front end is engineered to improve sealing for a more efficient cooling, while the roof and tailgate spoiler were shaped in the wind tunnel to smooth airflow over the truck for reduced drag. New inlaid doors, which fit into recesses in the body side to reduce wind noise for a quieter cab as well. In other words, a functional aerodynamic exterior. You've got three engine choices for the Silverado in 2014. You have the 4.3 liter V6, you have the 5.3 liter V8, which I have right here, and the much larger 6.2 liter V8 engine, each paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. Now, my tester gets 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, and the much bigger engine, the 6.2 liter, gets 420 horses and 450 pound-feet of torque, and with that one, you can tow up to 12,000 pounds, so Lots of options under the hood for 2014. All three Ecotec 3 engines feature direct fuel injection, active fuel management, cylinder deactivation, and continuously variable valve timing, a combination according to Chevy not found in competitive trucks. The engines also use a compact overhead valve design and weight saving components such as aluminum blocks and cylinder heads to reduce mass for additional energy savings. Driving this new Silverado rocks. The chassis includes a number of customer-focused updates. A revised front and rear suspension and wider wheels provide a more comfortable ride and more confident handling. Electric power steering improves steering feel and reduces fuel consumption. And new four-wheel disc brakes with Duralife rotors improve brake feel. Let's just say I enjoyed the experience. The seated behind the wheel of the Silverado in 2014 is uh, an exercise in luxury because there are so many added benefits to what you see here in the driver's seat. You've got these new toggle switches here down below, which also include new for 2014, a lane departure warning, as well as a forward collision warning system as well. Now, if you do go outside of your lane while you're driving and you don't turn the signal on, there's an actually a vibration in your seat to let you know, so uh, have fun with that. Also, you have this new wireless stereo system so you can sync things up to your smartphone and listen to music that way. Uh, this is beautiful, also Bluetooth as well. And this entire new instrument panel uh, really does bring you a lot of great information. It's laid out very nicely with this Z71 RPMs here on the left-hand side, your MPH here on the right-hand side, and all the uh, information you need to see. Something I think a lot of people might enjoy here is the fact that not only can you heat the front seats, but you can also cool them, which I find very helpful on some of those warm days, or maybe after a long day, and you kind of just want to cool off after building up a lot of heat. Here's something I find interesting. The entire vehicle is the same length as last year, but now you have more cabin space. There is so much more room here in the back seat for three oversized adults if you need be. So what they've done now is they've extended the, the back section of the cab and they've moved this one forward a little bit without sacrificing the total length of the vehicle. There's no question about it, the Silverado drives like a truck, but this year there's something about the ride and handling that makes it feel more like a car without sacrificing 
sacrificing that rugged and versatility and durability that you want and look for in a truck. Some have compared the driving characteristics of the Silverado to that of a Cadillac Escalade. That is some pretty good company to be in. If you are someone like me who likes to bring technology along with them, whether it's a smartphone, maybe an iPad, or maybe even a DVD player, or if you're charging something, you have all the auxiliary outlets you can think of here in front of you, just below these toggle switches with a USB port and also an actual plug-in. And here in the center, center area where you have all the storage, there's a place actually for files and these little bars here so you can build your own file cabinet down here and a nice spot for an iPad and more uh, USB auxiliary input. This is almost like a workstation inside of a, a work truck that gives you the luxury and versatility that you're looking for in probably a high-end car. I'm really impressed with this infotainment screen here, eight inches, which is incredible, and I think is really appropriate for this size of vehicle. So you have that right here with a touch screen, and you have the navigation, the backup camera, all the things that you're looking for. This vehicle is totally loaded and um, well worth it. We'll talk about the price in just a few minutes. Here's what it looks like here in the back, the extended cab of the Silverado and uh, this is interesting because not only do you have this huge indent here in the ceiling for I don't know how tall of a person you can get a 6'5", six, 6'6 six, six person up here no problem but there's also indents in the back of the driver's seat which have these vents here which is kind of nice so you can stay cool back here and of course they do have a container to have some storage so this was my driving position I'm 5'11 and there's more than enough room back here and I slide in the center section you know, I'm still gonna have some room between myself and my other self in terms of shoulder room, so this is great. Uh, this is the place to be. Extremely comfortable. You have the fold down armrest here as well, which has two large cup holders because you know if you're working out there, you're probably gonna get a 64 ounce or something along those lines. So this is really nice. There is a sunroof just for the uh, front two passengers, not the back, but that's okay with me. You have four O-blank handles all the way around. This is, look at me, I'm just leaning back, comfortable, ready to go for a ride. And I would be wrong to ignore the pickup box, which is made from roll-formed steel for increased strength and reduced mass, compared with the stamp beds used by major competitors. And it features a range of smart solutions for everyday life, such as available new upper tie-down hooks, under rail light emitting diode lighting, and an easy lift and lower tailgate. And for the first time, Silverado 1500 crew cabs will be available with a longer 6'6 box in addition to the previous 5'8 box, giving the everyman truck driver the ability to carry more cargo while still being able to park in many garages. So the beginning MSRP here in the 2014 Chevrolet Silverado Z71 is just about $44,000. My tester has almost $6,000 of extras on it, so it's fully loaded. LTZ Plus package, driver alert package, and so much more. Again, just over 50 grand. I want to thank my friends over at Camp Chevrolet in Spokane, Washington for loaning us the vehicle this week to test it out. Visit them at CampChevrolet.com. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching.